हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल कोड विथ विन ए टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू शफल एन आर ए इन जावा शफलिंग इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ रीअरेंजिंग अ कलेक्शन ऑफ आइटम्स इन अ रैंडम ऑर्डर फॉर एग्जाम्पल शफलिंग अ डेक ऑफ कार्ड्स मीन्स रीअरेंजिंग द कार्ड्स इन अ रैंडम ऑर्डर द ऑपरेटिंग वर्ड्स आर रीअरेंजमेंट एंड रैंडम दैट इज द एलिमेंट्स आर टू बी रीअरेंज सो दैट द ऑर्डर cannot be predicted in advance now shuffling an array is an important algorithm in computer science and it is used in many applications such as games randomization and encryption so let's get started so let's say we have an array of five elements so int arr is equal to and we'll say 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 Let's print this array, and for that we'll say system dot out dot println. We won't be taking a loop for that. So what we'll do is we'll simply say arrays dot to string, and then we'll pass the name of the array which we want to print. Now this arrays class is inside the util packet, so we'll say import Java dot util dot asterisk. and now we can print our arrays directly without running a loop so let's run it once and there we are we are able to print our array which is containing the values 1 2 3 4 and 5 now let's say we want to shuffle this array so that the elements are in a different order how do we do that we will be using a method known as fisher yates algorithm also known as knuth shuffle after the famous computer scientist donald knuth The algorithm works by iterating over the array from the end to the beginning and swapping each element with a randomly selected element from the beginning to the current position. By doing this, each element has an equal probability of ending up in any position of the array. Now I know that this one line introduction sounds a bit complicated and you may have to rewind and hear it again, but the concept is actually quite simple. Let me write some code to demonstrate the method. After all, a working code is the ultimate truth. Let's make a function for shuffling. For that, we'll say public static void shuffle, and then we'll pass an array which is to be shuffled. So, int arr. I said that we'll iterate the array from the end to the beginning. So let's take a reverse loop to do that. and for that we'll say for int i is equal to array dot length minus 1 and the loop will run till i is more than 0 and every time we'll say i minus minus and then again we'll reformat the code so the loop starts from the last element of the array and goes back to the first element this is because we want to shuffle the array in place without using a new array the next thing that i mentioned was swapping each element with a randomly selected element from the beginning to the current position that is now we need a random number from the beginning to the current position so let's say our random number is int r and then we need to assign it the random value between the range so we'll say r is equal to int and then we'll say math dot random and then we'll say into i plus 1 and again we'll reformat our code the math dot random method generates a random number between 0 inclusive and 1 exclusive we multiply this number by i plus 1 to get a random number between 0 and i plus 1 this random number will be used to swap the element at index i with the random element from the unshuffled part of the array i had discussed the random number generation in my previous video and you can find the link to that video in the description below now we need to swap the element at position i with the random element at position r and for that we need a temporary variable let's declare the temporary variable so we'll go over here and we'll declare another variable and we'll call it temp now let's swap the elements so we'll say temp is equal to 
ARR of the random position. Then we'll say that ARR of random position is equal to ARR of I. And finally, at the last step, we'll say that ARR of I is equal to tem. Now we'll call our function shuffle to see whether or not it is working properly. And for that, what I'll do is I'll copy this line first. We'll go down, we'll say shuffle and we'll pass our array. Once the shuffling is done, we'll come back and we'll print the array again. So the first print, that is this line, will print the array as it is, that is one, two, three, four, five. The second print, that is this line, will print our shuffled array. Let's see whether this is working or not. So we'll run the program now. And here we are. This is our original array. This is our shuffled array. And if you notice, all the elements are being shuffled. Instead of one, we are getting a two. Instead of two, we are getting a three. Instead of three, we are getting a five. Instead of four, we are getting a one. And instead of five, we are getting a four. If I run the program again, you'll see that we'll give a, get a different arrangement. Let's run it once more. And there we are. This time we are getting a different arrangement than what we got earlier. That's it for this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Now you can shuffle an array using Fisher Yates method in Java. The concept is useful in game development where random selection is a common requirement. See you in the next video. Till then, happy coding. Your feedback is valuable to me. I want to make sure that my videos are clear and helpful. You can follow me on the internet on any one or all of these channels.